So this is a video from Logie Bay, Newfoundland, when I kept some bees in Logie Bay for a while. Before some shrews destroyed all my bees. And it was in the woods too. And this, this hive hardly used to get morning sun and, and maybe a little afternoon sun over here. And it did fantastic. And it wasn't in the sunlight at all for most of the day. It was in the woods. Anyhow, but uh, if you look at this video, I, I just I saw this video uh, just recently, and I thought, ah, oh, this is this is an excellent example of festooning, and festooning is we just shifted right to there. But anyway, this is also festooning, and you can see the bees basically. Let's just go back a bit. So the bees are hanging from the empty frame, uh, foundationless frame, and boom, there they go. And the, I wish we had a white background under this thing. So there we go. Um, you can see they just sort of hang here like this. And festooning is its a word that's used in a lot of different fields of study. I think it originally came from uh, a way of describing necklaces back in the old days. They used to festoon. The necklaces used to hang and festoon. They would be linked together with various materials. And uh, they would hang. And that's what these bees are doing. They're, they're chaining themselves together. They're like a chain of bees just hanging off this empty foundationless frame. And they're festooning, you know, like an old necklace type of thing. And, and scientists, uh, at least I think the latest research on honeybee behavior anyway, they, they, they can't really conclude what, what the, why the bees do this. But if you look at um, one of the common uh, folk theories, I guess, is that they hang like this to, to build comb. So they know where they're, where they're building their comb. So they can build straight comb that's perfectly perpendicular to the ground, right? So this is, so like, this is the top of the frame. This is the bottom of the frame. And when you put that frame inside a hive, gravity will tell you if you hang a string or anything from the top of that frame, it will hang perfectly flat or perfectly straight down because that's where gravity takes you, right? And so the bees just follow the force of gravity. They 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 tie themselves in a knot like this, and in these strings, you can see right here. Hold on, boop. I'll I'll, I'll, I'll pause the video. Actually, hold on. I just do this later on in the video. We got do, 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 boom. There it is, right there, right? So the bees started off just sort of hanging from the top of this foundationless frame. And then they just hold on in chains like this, they, one leg stretching to the other leg, and they're just basically, it's a big, a big chain of bees, and they just hang there. And you can go back again, and you can see that's why they're, they're just hanging. They're not doing anything. And one theory is that they, they use their bodies as a template for where the comb will go when they build their comb. I don't know. Is that true? I mean, it kind of looks plausible, right? But I don't think it's, uh, I don't think we have a, 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 a solid conclusion on that one yet. But uh, there's a lot of mysteries in, in the insect world, and this is, this is one of them, perhaps. But I mean, it really looks like it, though. You can see they're festooning. They, they, they'll, they'll start off festooning just like this, and then, you know, come back a week later, and that's exactly where the comb is built, right? So it kind of looks like maybe there's a thing to that, there's something to that. But look, look at them. They're, they're just holding on, making their little bee chains. And it makes perfect sense when you think about it, because inside of a natural cavity, or inside of an artificial cavity, which is a beehive, the bees naturally want to make comb that is straight down they don't want it to curve off and go left and right and all this other stuff they want it to be as organized as possible because it does help them uh, store their honey and create a brood nest that's more manageable and allows them to walk around and do what they got to do uh, with greater ease and convenience and nature is uh, full of of laziness it's the most efficient way of getting things done and that's all, everything the bees do is efficient. And I'm probably phrasing that the wrong way. But anyway, you can see the um, the festooning happening here, and you can see the uh, where the um, where the comb eventually gets built off of that those festooning bees. So it may not officially be a thing that the bees do, but uh, they do it. See, so they just sit there. They find some empty space. They hang there for a while, 
the other bees with who are, are making comb, just follow that pattern and start building where those bees are festooning. And the next thing you know, you've got, you've got comb filling in all that space. And that comb gets filled with honey or they make baby bees in that, those comb. Whatever they got to do, they do it. And uh, so that's it. That's all it is. This is a very long rambling video that I just thought I'd do off the top of my head. I'm probably going to regret this, but there you go. Festooning. <laughs>